Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Amma ba'd. Ahabatik Allah. The believer should always be between hope and fear. Hope for the mercy and the rahmah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and fear of his punishment and fear of not having their deeds accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or going astray away from the path, the siratullahi al-mustaqeen. And ahabatifillah, I just wanted to remind myself and my brothers and sisters to seek knowledge, read, study, write, listen, Listen to the ulama, listen to the tulab uh, al-ilm, listen to your imam, whoever's teaching you something about Islam and reminding you, which is a part of the dhikr, tanfa'u mu'minin, which benefits the believer, then grasp onto that and gain maximum benefit from that. Because we need it, we become weak. Iman is strong sometimes, iman is low other times. But I wanted to mention one ayah one verse in the Quran which shows us the importance of having knowledge of the pillars of Iman and holding on and believing that because without the knowledge you can become weak. You can begin to accept new ideologies, new ways of approaching Islam, new ways of leading Islam, new ideologies. Well, hey, look at how many people now uh, believe, consider themselves to be Catholic Muslim. This is true. We've heard it. We've seen it with our own eyes. Look how many people say, yes, I'm a Buddhist Muslim. So here they've combined ultimate shirk and, and, and polytheism with the ultimate manifestation of Tawheed and the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. How is that possible? How can pure Tawheed and pure polytheism be put together? So it shows us Allah, that many of the people don't understand much of their deen, if not, if they understand anything at all. Listen to this ayat al-Kareem. This ayat, ayat Kareema. قَالَ سُبْحَانَهُ وَتَعَالَى فِي كِتَابِ الْكَرِيمِ وَمَنْ يَكْفِرْ بِاللَّهِ وَمَلَائِكَتِهِ وَكُتُوبِهِ وَرُسُولِهِ وَالْيَوْمِ الْآخِرِ فَقَدْ ضَلَّ بَلَالًا بَعِيدًا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem, and whoever disbelieves in Allah and his angels and his books and his messengers and the day of judgment, فَقَدْ ضَلَّ ضَلَالًا بَعِيدًا Then they have become misguided to the full extent of misguidance. Fully misguided. بَعِيد They're, they're far they're far astray. Ahabatifillah, that far astray means they have disbelieved in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They are no longer believers in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in his deen. They are no longer in the fold of Islam. You must believe in those pillars of Iman. And tu'mina billahi wa malaikati wa kutubihi wa rasulihi wa niyamul akhir wa tu'mina bi qadri khayri wa shar. You must believe that there is no God worthy of worship except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And all the divisions of Tawheed. And you must believe in his angels, that he, Tabarak wa Ta'ala, has created angels that do not disobey him, that have been sent for various tasks in which they do in accordance with the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you must believe in the books. The divinely revealed books, the Torah, the Injil, Suhafi Ibrahim wa Musa, the Quran, all of the books that Allah sent before the Quran and the Quran, including the Quran. All of that is from the speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you must believe in his messengers, even though he didn't see them. That's why it's Iman, it's Iman bil Ghaib, it's it's knowledge of the, the unseen, or it's belief in the unseen. And the day of judgment. And therefore, whoever doesn't believe in those things, and including the Qadr, as we mentioned in the Hadith, then they, 
They have gone astray to the farthest extent. Ba'id. So it shows us that it's an obligation to believe in the pillars of Iman. That means you have to understand them and know them. And that it's an obligation. Or the one who does not believe in those pillars of Iman, they are fully misguided. And if they don't believe in just one, say if they believe in Allah, they believe in his messengers, but they don't believe in one of the books. They say, no, I, I, didn't, I don't think ever the Injil existed or it, uh, you know, it never had anything of the truth or they've disbelieved. If they disbelieve in one messenger from amongst the messengers at AM after the Salatu Wasalam, they've disbelieved. If they speak ill about Jesus at AM Salatu Wasalam, or Ibrahim, or Musa, or Adam, alayhi salatu wasalam, or any of the prophets, alayhi abdul salatu wasalam, they, they disbelieved in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So it shows us iman billah, and iman in what he, the, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wasalam came with, the pillars of iman, that we have to have, we have to have this knowledge, we have to understand it, we have to practice it. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be from Ahl Iman and to die upon Iman and to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon Iman. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammad.